All right, let's take a look around at these things. I gotta get used to the controls again. Uh, let's see, where would it start? Let's ugh, running into everything. Uh, does it start over on this side? Do we go right to left? Uh, yeah, let's go check out this side. What? Why is my passport? <laughs> Alright, let's let's read that. Can we read it? Oh, we can inspect it like that. Oh, okay. These panels tell the history of the Ren Le Chateau area. Oh, so we just look at them ourselves. The earliest recorded inhabitants of the that were Celtic. Several stone monuments in the area are thought to be French versions of Stonehenge. Very little is known about this period. Or can I just go side to side? I don't remember. Shift. There we go. Let's 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 go back a bit though. The Romans the Romans. Alright. The Romans. The Romans called this area Gaul. They had rich silver and gold mines here, sustained by slave labor. Gaul was a favorite spot for exiling people. Pontus Pilate and Harold Antipas were born were both exiled here by Rome. The Visigoths conquered Rome, raiding the city of Rome itself in 416. They ended their nomadic existence by settling in this area with their vast stores of plundered wealth. Nearby Toulouse was their capital. There were the oops. The Mervonginian, I have butchered that, dynasty, was a line of mystical priests, kings, with long hair that ruled the German Franks. Clovis I in 507 defeated Alaric II of the Visigoths in battle. Clovis I made a pact that the Roman Pope, with the Roman Pope to con consolidate the position of each. In 671, Mer, Mer, Merovian, oh my gosh, I am destroying everything. King Dagobert II married Giselle de Razes, niece of the Visigoth king, Visigoth king. Her hometown, Rene Le Chateau, then called Rade, Rade, became the that word stronghold. The two had a son, Sigisbert. Is that Sigisbert? I gotta look at that. Sigisbert the Fourth. On December twenty-third, six seventy-nine, Dagobert the Second was murdered by a servant under directions from the king's treacherous mayor of the palace, Pepin the Fat. Uh, his three-year-old son, Sigisbert IV, disappeared, and the kingship passed to a weaker branch of the family tree. The Pope endorsed this murder. The Carlonians, a family line of Pepin the Fat, gradually took over rulership in 570 or 754. Pepin III, by pronouncement of the Pope, officially became king of the Franks. His dynasty included Charlemagne and the Carlogian's rule ended in 987 with the new dynasty of the Capetians. Oh, there's so many, so many words. Septimania from the Spanish Pyrenees up through the Tulu and Narbonne. There was a strong. Well, this just gets. Maybe I'm reading this weird. Contingent in 579, Pepin the Third in exchange of. For acknowledgement of the Jewish leaders made Septimania, Septimania an independent kingship. The Jewish Septimanians Manians, chose as their king Theodore, descendant of Sigisbert Theodoric. Theodoric's descendants include Gilliam de Gaon and Godfroy de Bouillon. <laughs> Duke of Lorraine and conqueror of Jerusalem during the Crusades. The Cathars, perhaps as an overgrown 
overgrowth of the region's historical independence in the late 12th century, the Languedoc became a hotbed of a group called the Cathars. The Cathars were normally Christians, but their theology was considered heretical by the Catholic Church. The Pope arranged the Albigian Crusade in 1207, in which Cathars were slaughtered, men, women, and children. The region never fully recovered. They are never going to financially recover from that. Although the Templars were inaugurated in Jerusalem in 1118, several of the key founders came from Lang Languac, including uh, Hugh Hughes de Pain, Count of Champagne. The Temple continued its association with the region, establishing several bases here, and many high-ranking Templars came from Cathar families, including Bertrand de Blanchefort, Fourth Temp Templar Grand Master. The Knights Templar were eventually accused of heresy. A general arrest occurred in 1307. The group was disbanded and all that re resisted were burnt at the stake. And then... Broken Sword happens. Do I have to go all the way back over to this side? Or am I reading... Okay, no, we are reading this way. Barriger Sorian was born and raised near Renan le Chateau in a town called Montezelles. He was ordained and appointed abbe to Renan le Chateau in 1885 at the age of 33. For. Okay, we are going the right way. For six years, Sonia struggled, struggled on a self starvation salary. He managed to raise a little money from locals to restore his decrepit church. He began. Dismantling the altar when he found a hollow hollow in an ancient Visigothic pillar. Inside the hollow, Saunier found four parchments and wooden tubes. The parchments were said to be two genealogies, a two-sided parchment containing a Greek scripture, and a confession of one Abbe Bouj B that guy. Abbey at Renly Chateau in 1789 and a confessor of the Blanchefort family. Sonneray took the discovery to his superior, the Bishop of Carcassonne. The bishop sent him to Paris where he stayed for three weeks. In Paris, he was introduced to various persons known to be involved in, in esoteric and occult circles. He paid to have copies made of several paintings in the Louvre. When Sanrio returned to Renle Chateau, his fortunes had changed and he began spending vast sums of money. He had a lavish villa built for himself and his housekeeper, Marie Denyard. He then added a strange tower overlooking the valley. Sanrio built a road and water system for the town. He refurbished the church in a garnish in an unorthodox manner. He gave money away and spent a fortune on his friends. Although a later superior demanded the name of the source of his wealth, Sanier was excused from such an explanation by the Pope himself. Sanier also did come, did some unaccountable things, such as destroying several of the tombstones in the local graveyard and defacing other ancient local inscriptions. Disguised as vi mysterious visitors disguised oh distinguished <sighs> blah distinguished and mysterious visitors, visitors came to see Saunier at Renle Chateau including Archduke Johann von Habsburg cousin of the Austrian em Emperor. Sonrare died suddenly of a stroke on January 17, 1917, at the age of 65. His death came only days after Marie ordered his casket. Though Marie said she would reveal his secret before she died, she never did. All she did was, all she said was that people in the area were walking in, walking on gold, and didn't even know it. Can we look at this one? It's an angel holding a devil in chains. Odd. I've never seen Satan drawn quite like that. Can we uh, record that down? Do we have a notebook? I don't need to write that down. Oh, Alright then. He doesn't need to write that down. 
So we've looked at all this stuff. Does any of this matter? Adam and Eve. I never liked that story. Can you imagine there being only one woman on the entire planet? Oh, God. Shut up, Gabriel. All right, then I'm guessing this is Son Rare himself. I think he's the guy the museum's named after, Sonier. Sonier. My bad. It's a letter in French. Read it. It's a letter in French. And we have these. A bunch of old documents in French. Be still, my heart. Why are you such an ass, Gabriel? All right, can we talk to Miss Howard or her friend a little bit more? I think I've had enough of Lady Howard for the moment. Lady Howard, all right, well, let's see if there's any more talking that we can do, if we have any questions for this lady. And we do. So, where did Sonier get his money from? If I could answer that, monsieur, do you think I'd be sitting here? Maybe. Oh. Well, that was it. Um... Oh, what's this? Lost items. Lost items. Wonder if my life is in there. <laughs> Same, my man. Same. Alright, so let's shift. What's this? Somebody lost a hat. Well, now we're taking it's a hat. It's not really my style. Looks more like something Mosley would wear. Take the f hat. It's not really my style. Looks more like something Mosley would wear. All right then. Um, do we have any money? Can we buy these? Guess not. Hey, they actually have souvenirs for sale. I'm sure Gracie will be all over it if and when she gets here. So I'm guessing we're just going to have to wait for Grace. So that's all we can do here. But we've met Lady Howard and Estelle, if I remember right. That's her name. And let's see. Where else can we go? We can go that way. We can go that way. Let's go this way. Let's just keep looking around. No, okay, this is... A completely different area. It's all laggy, wherever it is. Oh, quick, though. Oh, I guess that's still the door. Nope, sorry. Go ahead and open up the door, Gabe. Oh, it's a church! Which church things that's and stuff. That's professional, but it looks like it hasn't been used since Vatican II. Can we go into the confessional? I don't think they're still taking customers. <laughs> they may be. You don't know. It's Jesus and John the Baptist. They look dusty. Nah, I mean, maybe a little. Not too much. Um, We have St. Germain. St. Germain. Never heard of her. Maybe she's the saint of relativity. Get it? Germain relative. <laughs> oh, never mind. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Saint Hermit? Saint Anthony the Hermit. Oh. There's a fun loving guy. No, oh, it says Saint Hermit on there. That's why I thought that. Saint Madeline. Mary Magdalene. What a babe, huh? Bro, just stop. And then we have Saint Bosch. Saint Roach. Roach. Nice legs. Maybe he's the patron saint of Gillette. <laughs> Never mind. You need to stop, Gabriel. Just, just stop. Stop right now. It's a big pulpit kind of a thing. It's a big pulpit kind of a thing. Hmm. Oh, we got the uh, we got a little thing over here. We've got ooh money. Fuel for the flock, trinkets for the Trinity. They got brochures, but they're in French. Can we take one anyway? I read French. Can we take the money? Hey, I got enough sins already. Thanks. <laughs> 
All right, fair enough. <laughs> there are those four angels again. The four angeles. And we have a uh, little thing here. A communion cup. Jeez. The last time I took communion, I didn't even have facial hair. Not that I have much now. And we have a door here. Let's see if we can give a knock I'm knock. I'm not even sure where that door leads. Knock anywhere, Gabriel. It's locked. Oh, well, okay. So there's really nothing much we can do here. Fit. The hell? Nothing like a little satanic imagery to make a church feel cozy. Trace. What am I tracing? Uh. Uh, erase? I am so confused. What is going on? What am I tracing? I don't get it. Why is there a dot here? Do I... Am I supposed to push a button? Oh... Oh, uh, okay. Huh. Those hand positions can also make a tilted square. Never noticed that when I took catechism classes. Okay, that obviously means something. I think this one is Jesus falling for the third time. Jesus with some more women. No, don't remember who. Well, you're you're just you're you're great. You're great. All right. So there's no one in the church. Now well, let's take a look up. It looks kind of nice up there. Well, let's head out. So we know there's a church. And let me see if there's anybody. Can we go down here? Well, we got graves, because of course we're near a church. Maxine Lafitte. She died in the 70s. Can't say I blame her. Louis Hoffett. Kicked it in 1964. <laughs> you're, you're, really, you're really friendly there, Gabe. Friendly to all the dead people. Hey, there's a house back here. Neat. Let's, uh... Oh, hey, there's another building. Or this is part of the thing that's attached to the... Looks like a church office in there. Yeah, can we open up the... Um... Not too sure why I did that. Do we have anything in our inventory that we can use yet? Nope. Those don't work together. I'm sure I'm going to have to do something with that. But who knows what? Duke de Rays. 1700s. Duke de Rays, Rays, Rays. Duke de Rays, Rays. Poor Pierre. He was only 34. Of course, that's 238 in dog years. I can't read it. The letters have worn away. Abigail passed on in 1893. No quippy comeback for that one, Gabe? <laughs> what is this? E.C. Repose... Mademoiselle Marie de Narnot died January 1953 at 85 years old. So this must be where Marie is. That's the grave of Marie de Narnot. 
Dinar, no. I butchered that. These two graves have cement slabs poured over them. It's Sonier's grave. Hmm. Neat. Let's see who works. Th works. Let's see who lives here. I don't even know who lives there. Why don't you find out, Gabriel? Looks like the parsonage may be, or whatever they call him in France. You know, for being some kind of guy who, like, does investigations, you investigate very badly. So, I'm just saying, your investigation skills is poor. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take another stroll down this way. Well, can we go this way? No, we cannot. Fair enough. We'll just go back this way. If that is which way I'm going. I don't know. Uh, we can go left. Is left back towards the... the um... Alright, so this is back towards... The hotel. Ugh, we gotta watch Gabe walk all that way. Alright, so now can I turn... I went that way last time. Let's turn this way. And this is going back towards this way. Okay, so there's just a few random places and then that's it. Because I don't think we can go anywhere. I don't think I'd find the baby by knocking on doors. I will keep my ears open, though. Alright, so we, we can't... Well, we've... We need to hire a... Ooh, what's this? We need to hire a... Bethania. Personal residence constructed by Sonier. He's the one who got rich and started the rumors about a treasure. It says, keep out, more or less. Can we knock? Can we go in? <laughs> Are we going to get in trouble and go to jail? The sign says, do not enter. I'd at least need a reason to ignore it. Well, all right, we don't have a reason to ignore it yet. We don't have one yet. Whoa, 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 what is this? I clicked off my screen. Sophisticated free-form sculpture. Or rocks. <laughs> so this must be... Uh, the little castle thing, or the little place he, he made? I'm assuming. Whoa. Look at this fancy place. Books everywhere. The books are all old and French. Why does Gabe have against French? He has a problem, it seems. All right, so now we're up top. And then there's a three circle thing. It's just a decorative post, I guess. This is not gonna be just a decorative post. That's gonna totally be for something. And we can't see anything else anywhere. So, all right. So the question is, is now that we've went everywhere, what's next? How do we, how do we trigger a something? How do we get, how do we get our next person to show up? Well, I guess we can see if we can talk to... other people again see if we can talk to her about anything see if we can talk to oh, I clicked off the stupid thing again oh we literally can can go all the way here it's all right let's try talking to her again I'd better wait till I have something to say she'll think I'm an absolute idiot which of course would be entirely mistaken so we can't talk to him again. Can we talk to Emilio again? No, we can't talk to Emilio. Alright then, so obviously we need to 
chicken. Ooh, reminds me of the present the voodoo group left me. Yuck. <laughs> so we need to figure out where to go next. Can we go that's over? the way out of town. I wouldn't get far on foot. Well, that's why you get a... Uh, can we get a... Can we get a... Uh, bike now? Is the bike person going to be there? No, because our time hasn't gone forward. Don't be dumb, me. A trash heap. That's one way to draw a crowd. Of flies, anyway. Maybe. Is there anything in here? I guess we gotta... Is there anything in these? Nope. <laughs> We're floating! Alright, so we need to figure out what to do next. So I walked around for a little bit and couldn't find anything, so I decided to come back in here to see if I missed something, and I kind of did. We can go forward. And we can go left or right, but we could go forward, and I never did go forward. So let's see what's through here. Now oh, we got a... oh. A scene! If that's what I think it is, I can die a happy man. No coffee. Oh, right. Hey, how about some coffee out here, Mayor Say? Oh, jeez. No, Gabriel, don't. Thanks, buddy. Why is this guy trying to hide himself? Gabriel Nash. You wanker. <laughs> Mosley? <laughs> Is that you? No, it's my evil twin. What the hell are you doing here, Knight? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? I'm, uh, I'm on vacation. I'm here with the uh, <clears throat> tour group. What kind of tour group? You know, the touring kind. And you guys came here? Well, it's kind of special, um... It's a special treasure hunting tour group. Treasure? What treasure? Look, read the brochures, okay? I'm not the freaking tour guy. Oh, Jeez, all this dialogue. Nice to see you too. So, what are you doing here again? Um, I came to see you. What? Sure. I called your number at the park. Right, of course. I forgot I mentioned it. Well, <laughs> it's great to see you. Great. Y yeah. If you want to join a tour, you'll have to talk to Madeline uh, Boothang. She's around here somewhere. And uh, come up to the room later, would you? Uh, I'm in room 33. Sure. And uh, thanks for surprising me, old pal. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Suspicious much? Maybe a little. Is there anyone else in here? No, then who is he yelling for? Mosley? In Rennes le Chateau? W wait, are you as confused as I am? A little bit, Gabe. A little bit. It probably wouldn't make any more sense the second time around. Maybe I should wait till we're alone. So, he said room 33, so I guess we should go up to room 33, but... Can we take any of the cups or anything? Are those coffee cups or thimbles? I should have brought my stein. It's useless without actual coffee in it. Well, can we... Oh, oh, gosh. Okay, grab the... Pour. Can we pour some? Are we gonna actually gonna drink it, or are we gonna keep the cup? Don't drink it. He drank it. What a douche. Is there anything else we have? What is this? Packages of maple syrup. Well, we're definitely picking up one of those. In our never-ending pockets. Plates and stuff. Grab it. Don't need it. Yes, you do. Beats the heck out of eating with your hands. 
beats the heck out of eating with your hands. Sure it does. But when we come back, we'll head to room 33, talk to Mosley, why he's here, no one knows. And we'll see if we can get some answers. So till then, y'all take care. And of course, have a good one. <laughs>